everyone, it's Kim. So I'm going to try to um, unmold the beast here and see what happens. If you can see, I even slammed the, the mold so hard on the ground trying to make sure that there was no air pockets that it came apart. So I had to hurry and put tape around the mold so it wouldn't fall apart. So let's see if I can get it out of here. I did um, put it in the oven for about, I guess, a half an hour, and then I put it in, and I insulated it under a blanket, which I normally don't do, but I went ahead and did it because um, I had things to do in the kitchen, and I didn't want it in the kitchen, so I insulated it in a blanket, and... Um, left it there until I got home just a few minutes ago. So, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to get a ruler. Let's see what the colors are. Ooh, I like the colors. Pretty cool. I hope it's hard enough to cut. Looks like the deep blue sea. Look at that. Pretty cool. There's some air pockets for sure, but I gotta learn to embrace them. So, let's see what happens. Let me figure out what I'm gonna do here. I guess I should have been more prepared and had my little ruler there. So, let's see. I know that... Let me get one of my other bars and see here. Yes, yeah, so that should work. I'm gonna... I'm gonna cut it. So here it goes. Drum roll. Well, it looks pretty cool. Considering everything that I went through, of course the parts with the titanium dioxide kind of broke up, but I like I've said before, I like it when it does that because I like the clear effect that it gets. And I really love the deep blue down. Oh, I just love it. I'm so happy. Even though it drove me crazy, all I could think about today while I was at work was, hurry up, hurry up, day, hurry up. And I was watching the clock so I could get home and, um, and cut it. like the worst this would not be the mold for me to use on a regular basis for sure because I'm totally crooked at this Yeah, totally crooked. But that looks wicked. I love it. Even if I do say so myself. 
Okay. So then I'm going to cut it into let's say skinny one at the end so let me just cut them an inch inch bars here goes the little one now so I guess I better do it from up here cut this end off. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but I'm cutting it. Okay, so then this is a little short bar, but you can see how crooked I am. But, oh, it looks cool. I'm pretty pleased. Let me take this off. And it smells great. But I'm terrible at cutting. Yep. Reminds me of the ocean. a little bit better but not the width I have some cleanup to do oh well there's always um, plenty of soap balls then for the next batch to add into it so there's that Yep, I can say that I'm um, pretty tickled with this one. I think I might try using my wire cutter on these little logs here. So let me see if that helps. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Hope everybody had a good Monday. My son's laughing at me over here. Okay, let's try this. Well, let me first let me just trim a slight edge off here. Even it up a little. Oh yeah, this is way better. I don't know what I was thinking. That's going to be plenty of samples over there. So anyway, there it is. That's a little bit of a darker piece and darker side. But oh, I can't believe the color came through. I was really concerned about it being a very green kind of a color, but it really turned out the Aegean blue that I was looking for. But anyway... There's another one. Well, they're all going to kind of probably look the same now, so I don't want to make the video too long because I want to be able to record, uh, download it from my phone. And um, I just wanted to show everybody. Um, you guys have a great week, and um, I still need to finish my um, cherry blossom soap. I have those flowers; they're ready to go. It's just I was waiting for 
um, some cherry fragrance that I was getting from a friend and um, I'm gonna make a blend it has a hint of cherry in it and some floral not just that cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works it's my own little blend going so anyway you guys have a great week and I'll be um, talking to you bye Boss.